Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today I'm going to do something a little different. I uh, recently bought some knives off of Amazon. Um, I've had these cheapo knives for the last 20 years plus, where I was either given them as a gift or bought them at Kohl's on sale. This one happens to be a, a Food Network brand from Kohl's. And you can tell, you know, they're kind of standard. They're not bad for what they are. Uh, this one, though, it's kind of cheap stainless. It's got, it gets rust. Um, if you water stays on it for a little, anywhere but 10 minutes, it will rust up on you. You know, they're not bad for mass-produced, mass-marketed, you know, stick the Food Network name on it and throw it in the store kind of knives. But they're definitely not something that chefs use or even uh, consider using for themselves. They may stick their names on them, but that's not what they use. Um, I've also recently bought some cheaper um, Chinese uh, knife sets just to use every day around the house. Um, this one I bought off Amazon. I think I paid $30 for the whole set. Came with all the steak knives and everything. They're good to use for the steak knives and uh, some of the smaller paring knives and stuff um, just uh, for everyday use. But they're not really a good chef's knife to uh, to use when you're really trying to cook or impress somebody. These cheap knives, I can't even remember the brand name. Um, it's kind of faded off, but they're just steep, cheap, real cheap stainless, very thin, and they also tend to uh, get a little bit of rust on them. It's hard to keep them sharp. You pretty much got to sharpen them every other day. Um, but I've had those knives for probably 20 years and they work okay but um, I wanted to kind of upgrade a little bit since I'm going to do a lot more cooking especially around the camera and I found these Tao knives on Amazon and I looked at all the different um, all the different cutlery on there uh, the Chinese made um, that are more German steel they're not that bad a price. They're not the uh, 150 to $200 knives, you know, for a single knife that you see some of the fancy chef stores. These particular ones are their um, German steel brand or German steel model, and they're actually very good. I mean, they're very thick. It's a single tang. It goes all the way through. Uh, I guess this is called the, the Fury Phoenix line from Tao, and... Um, I love the handle. It's, it's, it's kind of, I have bigger hands, so the handle, it fits my bigger hand a lot better than some of these other cheaper, <clears throat> older knives do. And you can tell that the steel is a lot better than some of these because it's a lot thicker and it's a lot, it's a lot sharper. And like I said, it, it's a lot lighter than some of the, even, even this one here, this cheaper Food Network one. It's a lot heavier. You can just tell it's not as good steel. This one is probably half weighs half as much as this cheap Food Network one. Um, and this, even this one here, that's a real thin stainless steel. I mean, it, it probably weighs less than this one, <laughs> and it's a bigger knife. And um, like I said, I, I I just got this one the other day. I first bought this uh, boning knife and. As you can tell, it's, it's very large for a boning knife, but it's got that same big, thick handle on it that I like. And I use this knife primarily for trimming uh, for fat or, you know, cutting up chickens, stuff like that. This is my old boning knife. You can tell the difference here and see how different they are from each other. Um, this one, you know, again, it's very hard to keep it sharp. You pretty much have to sharpen it every, after every use. Um, this one, the steel, you can just tell it's a lot, lot uh, better, higher quality steel. I can actually see myself in the in the steel on this one, and it's a lot thicker um, through the whole knife. And again, it's a single tang; it's all the way, all the way through. It's a really solid knife, and it's got this little hook at the bottom where, when you're filleting or boning, you really need that to uh, get into some of those uh, joints and stuff. So, really like that one. The second knife of theirs I bought was this carving knife. I never really had a good carving knife. I think this was my second best carving knife, this little cheap one. But I have another one that I bought on the set that came with a fork that was 
probably you know forty dollars or something for the set back you know 15 years ago I hardly ever used it because it's the same thing I had to you know sharpen it after cutting a turkey with it uh, it would dull real easy but this is the same uh, Fury Phoenix model but it's made out of that same German steel and um, I really like this I used this to slice my pastrami the other night and it, it pretty much just went right through it um, same handle like I said when you got bigger hands it's kind of hard to find a knife that'll fit just right especially when you're cutting a lot um, with the chef's knife you know when you're trying to get in there a lot of times with these other knives my finger would get you know kind of sit right on top of the blade and I'd get a callus right there from that but I don't have to worry about this because this handle is just so bits in my hand so much better but I just kind of wanted to show you these um, they're uh, they've got several different models this Tau does uh, they even have these Fury Phoenix in a Damascus steel which is the Japanese steel where it's 67 layers that's a lot uh, a lot nicer they're actually a lot more expensive but for a really expensive looking knife I think the Damascus steel one is only like $80 still this one here I think is 30 or 40 and they do come on lightning deals all the time on Amazon but um, for what you get with these this knife is uh, absolutely ridiculous I mean these are professionally grade German steel knives that I think I got less than eighty dollars in all three of these you can get they do have uh, a whole complete set in a block on Amazon I think it's like hundred and eighty dollars does come on a lightning deal every once in a while for 150 or 160 that has the meat cleaver the sharpener some sears and a paring knife a couple different other knives none of these knives come in that um, but they have the Sh shidaku knife in it um, as well but they also have other lines they have their um, ring series that's actually uh, all Dam Damascus uh, Damascus uh, steel so go ahead and check them out I'm gonna leave a link to their main Amazon page that has all their different series of knives and you can check them out they even have these um, ones that are made out of pack of wood um, they're similar to the Fury Phoenix line that are actually in different colors I think one is called peacock which is more of a green color and then the uh, another one that's red uh, it's kind of reddish maroonish pink pack of wood but it looks similar to this but they're all made out of the same high quality German steel so but um, like I said they do have the Damascus steel as well in this Fury Phoenix line but also in, in their ring series and they have a black and white series they, I'm gonna leave that link down there but I've been very impressed with their quality so far for a decent knife that you don't have to uh, blow your whole kitchen budget on just a pair of knives or a single knife um, I, I've seen knives of this quality go for two hundred dollars and I would I would put this up against any any knife out there right now so I'll go ahead and do a little cutting just so you can see now, like I said this one's brand new and it hasn't been run through a sharpen or anything so just coming right out of the right out of the box I need to show you I'm putting very little pressure on this just using the knife itself I mean it's it's cutting right through there it can be really thin if you want to cut real thin slices for a presentation I mean you barely have to even put any weight on it um, I mean that's just a sign of high quality steel very sharp edge and from what I understand these keep a real keep the edge real well I mean you can just see just how thin that is and I applied very little pressure um, my wife wanted me to cut up this pineapple so I'm gonna go ahead <laughs> before I core it I'm gonna go ahead and just cut a couple slices off so that you guys can see and if you see I don't ooh, I didn't even need to push on that and it just went right through it so yeah just it, it just glides right through without any effort whatsoever so I'm gonna try that with this boning knife this knife I, I used this the other day to trim up my brisket in uh, the pastrami video so this is one of the ones I really was intrigued with because I really used my boning knife a lot more than some of my other knives so that was one of the ones I really wanted to use the most so if you can see it's the same way it's just going right through this um, pineapple 
So very easy to work with. Said so this carving knife. I never really had a decent carving knife, but um, I said this one works really well, and I like it. I like the way it looks. I like the handles on these. Exact, you know, I just I love them. So I said we'll try this with the chef's knife again. Literally, ugh, it's just I can cut this thing paper thin if I wanted to, with very little effort. So I'm not going to cut up everything on here. Uh, you guys don't need to see knives cut, but. <laughs> Like I said, this compared to, let me just pick pick the one that I used for 20 years. You know, I tried to keep sharp every week with my knife sharpener. And you can just see, I just <laughs> can't barely, without really pushing this thing down, getting down in there. Um, it's just totally different cut. And like I said, the handle feels a lot better. It's uh, probably going to last me a lot longer. I won't have to worry too much about getting any rust on these. But... Take a look at them. I highly recommend them. I do uh, know they come on lightning deals quite often. They do have the Damascus, Damascus, Damascus steel <laughs> ones as well that are 67 layers of Japanese steel that are supposed to be much better. And like I said, they don't cost a whole lot. I mean, you'll see knives in Damascus steel where they're three, four hundred dollars, and you can get one at a very good quality for around 80 bucks in this line. So go ahead and make sure you like this video subscribe put some comments down below let me know how we're doing um i know this isn't our normal cook video but i just wanted to go over these with you show you what i use i just whenever i find a deal and i find good stuff to use i want to go ahead and do a review on it highly recommend these go ahead and ask any questions down below and make sure you like us on facebook find it and follow us on uh, instagram and make sure you keep in touch with us <music>